Hello, it's your boy. Today we're gonna talk about rare reactors, like in this game. I um, mean, how to build one or make one. Okay, it's pretty easy, pretty easy to use, simple, and definitely fun. Especially if you're into the rank up magics, rank up magics. So here's here's how the deck looks like. You play with three of the advanced voucher, three of this, three of that. And a couple of this and stuff. Just just follow as this, you know. The core card is the core card is definitely this. Okay, we we'll start with the combo. We'll start with the first combo. The first combo, the main combo you want to start with is this tribute lanius. Okay, when you normal some of this tribute lanius guy, you're gonna activate its effect in the main phase, and then you're gonna send this mimic cry lanius into the graveyard. And after you send this mimic cry to the graveyard you're gonna activate the effect from the graveyard and you're going to search for any 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 rare raptors card okay you're gonna search for any rare raptor cards and then you're gonna search for this card rare raptor nest so the thing about rare raptor nest you could either search for rare raptor Ra Ra call or rare raptor nest you know it's it's pretty much up to you but i would prefer rare raptor nest but it's also based on depends on the situation sometimes you want to use it on rate of the call if you want to if you want to copy your own monsters so what rate of the call does is you can target one rate of the monster you control you can special some example you have tribute ladies on your field you're gonna activate rate of the call and then you're gonna special another copy of itself from the deck from the deck or graveyard for a second oh no from the hand or deck on the field to the field okay so you have two copies now. Now you know you can do anything. You can do exceed, or you you want to go into link summoning. So here's the thing. You want to make white streaks. You either want to make white streaks, or you're gonna focus on making four streaks. These two are main cards, main two key cards that you probably want to combo one among each other because. Because what does what Y streak does is it basically says that if you activate any XC monsters effect while this card is present on the field, you get to add one you get I mean you get to set one rank up magic from your deck onto the field. Okay? And even if it's a quick play spell card, you can you can play it during that turn. So what I I used I always like to is like uh, activate vice strings effects and then I will add rank up magic skip force and to the field and then activate it so I could rank up my strings rank up my strings and then it will go to it will go to it will become it will become air raid or it will become revolution falcon and after that you can use another skip force. Skip force is good because like it ranks up by two. Two ranks. It skips by two ranks. Yeah, it skips by two ranks. So it goes from four to six to eight. And then when it goes to eight, goes to ten. It goes to ten. That's the good thing about this. But the thing is, when you're at ten, you can't go to twelve. There's a twelve row. Uh, which is the rate with the final fortress falcon there's a 12 but you can't go from 10 to 12 unless this card is negated and how and how do you and what do i mean by that here's like it's like this if you want to rank up this guy into this you must have this effect negated and you know this card effect says that unaffected by other cards effects so how are you gonna do it it's pretty simple you want to use this effect, last strings. So basically, when your Raid Raptors is battling with another monster, you will add to this card, last strings. You're gonna special summon this guy, and then during the main phase two, you're going to tribute it, and then you're gonna special summon Ultimate Falcon in defense position and its effect negated. Then only you can use Magic Skip Force on it, and then you can summon the Final Fortress Falcon. Final Fortress Falcon is just pretty much for fancy, but yeah, it's pretty good, you know, not that bad. I mean, if you just want to be very more anime, like it's like that. So here's how the deck looks like, okay? It's pretty simple. Vanishing Lanius is, 
is one of the core cards. So if you want to get Vanishing Lanius, you gotta you gotta pay attention. You want, if you want to get Vanishing Lanius or the Raid Reactor Nest, some of this card you can only up and and also Raid Rise Falcon, Rise Falcon here, the main cat. The character main ace card, Rice Falcon. I never actually summoned this card, but but it's not really because its effects not really that good, not good for the three level four monsters. So if you wanna get sorry, if you wanna get Vanishing Lanius, so the thing is you gotta go to Quinton. Quinton dropped the Vanishing Lanius and the Ness, one of the core card. The core key card you might you may need in this so you want to go to Quinton booster first and then you only go to Shay. Shay do give you some rated cards but not all of it there there'll, there'll be a missing card and those missing cards you're going to find from Quinton that's how it is so this card necro voucher is good for recycling good for recycling the rank up magic card when this card you can you can normal summon this card and after you can tribute it tribute just to get one rank up magic from the graveyard to your hand so you can recycle the rank up magic and i just put monster reborn for in case and this card is not actually all that useful for my regards i mean i don't really use much of it effect so you can actually trade this off with any any other cards if you want to but this is just good because like it has a uh, just attack higher attack I would say just that the rest are just very self-explanatory uh, and then advanced voucher advanced voucher has a synergy with this card with pain lanius so these two actually synergize each other well when this what what it does is pain lanius can actually target one monster on your field one rare after monster on your field and then special summon itself by Deducting your life points equal to the attack or defense points that so uh, whichever that's lesser on that monsters It will spread straight on money itself And then when you take a damage You're going to special summon advanced voucher from your hand That's how it works So the rest is just pretty wombo combo and self explanatory Let's just go to watch Let's just go and watch the gameplay Go! It doesn't really matter if you want to go first or second but let's go first Let's go, Shay Obsidians versus Sora. Pairs the Academia. Alright, so you start off with this kind of hand. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna first, this is the first card. This is the first card you have to want to start with because this card says that when you just normal summon this card and then you're gonna activate its effect its effect going to special summon one raid raptor from your hand and you're gonna special summon the lanius special summon the lanius and then you're gonna activate lanius effect then you're gonna send this guy the mimicry lanius mimicry lanius activate the mimicry lanius effect banish itself from the graveyard uh, we're going to add the nest. The reason I put only one nest is because it's searchable. It's very easy to search, so you don't really need to put that much. Activate the nest. Now you have two monsters in the field, right? You have two red raptors, so you can activate the nest. You you probably want to search for this guy, Fuzzy Lanius, because Fuzzy Lanius is good. Fuzzy Lanius, when you have red raptors monsters. On the field, you get the special money for free. Just special money. So what I'm gonna do first is just gonna summon the white streaks. Get the white streaks on the field first, and then white streaks are going to ask you like if you want to activate the effect special another red raptor from your deck to your hand. I mean to your to your field. So you activate it. You probably. I mostly you probably want to special summon this guy because like when this guy is sent to the graveyard it's going to like it's going to activate its effect to trigger to search for another card. But right now it's only once per turn. We already activated the card effect, so we can't really do that. It doesn't really matter. It's 
So you can activate the call. I could activate re 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 the call, but I'm just gonna go with fuzzy ladies. The fuzzy, the fuzzy fuzzy ladies. Four strings. Get the four strings. Get the four strings out. I prefer to put it on defense position just in case, especially at the first turn. Just gonna activate four strings effect and then send the Fuzzlinius to the graveyard. And we search for booster strings. Search for booster string and then Fuzzlinius effect will activate and we just go yes. It will add back another copy of Fuzzlinius to your hand, so that's very convenient. And then the strings will activate the effect as well, so you're going to hire choose which rank up magic so at this situation probably we want i think i'll go with this card no no i'll go with this rank up magic raptors force raptors force uh, just in case in case if our red raptors get destroyed uh, we can an alter now we don't have to worry about being attacked right now Oh, what's that? Fight for Leo. Even if we get a tie, we got the booster strings. Oh no, he's fusion summoning. Oh. Fight for beer. Uh oh. We're in big trouble. Not really. Not really, because we have booster strings. So what ha what happens now is booster string will activate the fact, banish it from the hand, boom, pop it. What? But Fluffle do you still? You have received better than damage to it. Yep. Since we take the damage, you can special in the advanced voucher. Two bad, the rank up magic doesn't work on 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 link monster. It only works on. Exceed monsters, but it's okay. It's okay. We still got this. So, activate the nest. This is what good. Once per turn. But it's very abusable. Yeah, let's get this card. Activate Special Millennials because we have a red raptor on our field. Now, we're going to get. I'm gonna get the strings first because our string just die. The strings just dead. But we're gonna get another Y strings. Uh huh. Strings in fact activate. Yeah, going to special summon one and Fuzzlinus two trigger. Gonna get the Fuzzlinus first into our hand. And then strings in fact will trigger. And we're going to special summon let Mimi cry. Let's get Mimi cry out. Can activate because it's negated, so now we're going to activate a four strings effect. Four strings going to detach one material and then we're going to add one card. Mm. I'm going to add the Necro Vulture. Let's recycle our rank up magic. Y strings effect activates. Let's get the skip force baby. Now here's here's where the magic gonna start. Are you ready for this? Okay. So, first we're going to normal summon Vanishing Lanius. Active Vanishing Lanius effect. Special summon the Necro Vulture. Necro Necro Vulture. Oh, all right. Because we don't have any. Yeah. All right. I forgot. We don't have rank up magic in in, in the graveyard yet. But let's summon the air raid because air raid is good. Air raid when you exit summoning, you go, you get to activate its effect to pop your monsters. I mean your opponent monsters, and you get to deal the damage equal to your attack. Now summon the air raid, activate. You pop the monster, and that's not it. Oh, fluffle cream. Okay. I want to pop the back row to, to show you guys, but it's okay then. 
So we can go to egg. We can go to egg, but let's not. Can summon rice falcon? I I rarely summon this blade burner falcon unless you really need to, because you need like three thousand life points lower than your opponents. Then only you can activate the effect, so it's kind of not really worth it. This too is just not really much great effect. If you're attacking, I mean, if you're versus again like, multiple multiple opponents, then you can activate the rice falcon effect, but nah. Currently, it's nothing. Like in this situation, it's pretty much free empty field. So let's make a ten, shall we? Wait, is this one's this one's return? Yep, one's return, but soft, soft one's return. Let's pop this stuff. Let's get the skip magic force, shall we? Get him, activate. Rank up magic into Satellite Falcon. So usually Satellite Falcon would pop the back rows. Pop all the back rows for open inside. It's very very strong effect card. Yeah, it's a very good strong quick effect. Activate Monster Bond. Revive the Necro Vulture. You could actually use the the red red the call on the vulture too. Actually, now nah, we actually can. So here's the thing. I'll show you an, an example. Like I'm gonna activate this red call. I'm gonna call another vulture. So you see this. This will work. Tribute another vulture, get a skip force. Yeah, another skip force. Activate. Skip force. Into the ultimate falcon. You see that? In one turn, we can abuse it. As long as we got a necro vulture and everything, it's pretty easy to set up. Exceed summon. Okay, now I'll show you an example. I'm gonna necro vulture. Pop this, tribute, and I'm gonna get back the rank up magic skip force. Okay, now here's the thing you have to see. I'm gonna activate magic skip force onto the ultimate falcon, and you will see it doesn't work. It will not work because ultimate falcon says that it's unaffected by other cards effect. So that's the thing. It it includes your own card, including your own card. So that's a waste. That's a waste, but we can use Selenius. Okay, last ring. Never mind, we'll get last rings now. But too bad we can abuse cannot abuse everything. So let's go. Direct attack! This one's activation from the last rings. Last rings will ask you like if you wanna activate a card effect. And you'll be like, nope. So we're just gonna let's just attack with Ultimate Falcon. We could finish it with Vulture, but let's just activate Fal uh, Ultimate Falcon effect. Ultimate Falcon from during the end phase is the opponent have no monsters. Activate effect, burn one thousand life points. There you go. Let's go first, shall we? Rear Raptor is good for going first. Going second is not bad either. It's very very adaptable. You can go first or you can go second, it's up to you. Now, in this kind of situation, um, mm, mm, okay. Mimi Cryolinius. Special Mimi Cryolinius. Because we have a rear after on the field, special summon it. Let's get him. Let's get the strings. Let's get the strings out, boy. White strings. The link summon monster. Active white strings effect. Special summon one. And yeah, and we activate Fazolinus effect too. Fazolinus we activate first because it's a chain link too. White strings effect activate. So we're going to special summon. Let's special summon this guy because this guy really like a folder. This is a folder. It really doesn't matter. 
a folder. And now we're gonna call. Activate the sharp ladies. And not to forget, in the graveyard you got this. Mimi cry ladies. They all call ladies, aren't they? I'm gonna add the Ness. Because Ness is a better card. Activate. Get them strings. I mean. What's it called? It's not strings. Yeah, it is strings. This is strings. That is also strings. Four strings. They exceed four strings. I am going to activate you. And get me the potato. Get me the booster. Although we already have booster, I don't think that's necessary, but it's okay. Going to set this card just in case. Just in case. Just in case if anything happens. And whether we have two booster, but you never know, right? You never know. Activate. Get the sculpture. Uh. Let's get a vulture. We're going to abuse it later in the next turn. The vulture is really part of the main combo here. No, let's just chew. And our turn and chew. We got two boosters, so nothing could go wrong. What? <gasps> oh, unless that. Wait, actually, that's that still doesn't matter. Is it gonna fuse? Summon a more discarding expert summon. Performance. Uh, huh. Is exceed summoning into trapeze magician. And this is what happens when you attack my monster. I kill the booster strings. Pop you, sir. Could I take two another card? No, that's not waste. This card floats, right? Oh no, especially another one. Another battle? Another booster strings! How about that? Okay. Oh man. Keep coming back. Make a wall, man. Uh oh. Ouch. <gasps> Exit summon again. Is it into Trapeze Magician? Yep, another Trapeze Magician. Trapeze Magician, yeah? No, here's where the fun starts, baby. I'm gonna go with Ness first. Let's go Ness. Um, let's get Vanishing Lanius. Bonnie Ching! Now I activate for Strings Effect. Detach. And we're going to add... Let's just get this. Round come magic skip force. That's a twenty five hundred, huh? Twenty five hundred, huh? You think I'm scared of that? You think I'm scared? I don't scare. I'm not fearing anyone. For for now, let's see. Activate, yeah. Now let's summon the vulture. Get the necro vulture out. Necro vulture. Get in. Boost thing, I was four strings. Special summon. Mm 
Let's see, let's see. Rank up magic! Skip force! I'm gonna rank up you. And make that air raid. Make that air raid! Air raid. And I'm going to actually air raid effect. Pop that guy. You get the damage, boy. Crap, it's such a wall, man. He's beating such a wall. Um, let's go new vulture. Pop you. Give me that rank up magic skip force. You can still activate, right? Hmm. Here's the thing, I'm gonna show you how to how to summon how to summon this rank 12 Final Fortress Falcon. Here's what you have to do. And this is exactly what you need to do. For example, let's just battle. Just battle and attack. For that mechanic, activate. You have the last strings in your hand, this card. You activate it. Special summon it. And you gain life. Attack. The clown doing its trick. Oh boy. Summoning again. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. But it's zero defense, boy. Which. What the? Damn. That's such a wall. That's a thick wall boy. Okay, never mind. Let's go to main phase two. Now during the main phase two, you're gonna activate last ring's effect. Tribute itself. Now we summon the level 10 boy. I mean the rank 10. Ultimate Falcon. Get the ultimate falcon. Now we activate rank up magic skip force. Onto the falcon that's got that is negated. And then we get the final fortress. Final fortress falcon! Hell yeah, you see this? That's how you use the card. That's how you use it. Let's turn. Let's make a uh, white strings. Hmm. Hmm. Four strings. What can we do? Four strings. Something's something's wrong. We can't do a four strings. It's okay now. I wanna do four strings and then get a booster strings into our hand, but apparently we can't. Just battle! Activate the Fusilanius. Add back another copy of itself. So. Got nothing, boy. Just set it in his turn. Okay. Okay, doki. So this what gonna happen? I'm gonna summon the Fusilinius. Activate Necro Vulture again. Tributes. Get the four skip. Get them four skip. Activate. Uh, what do we get again? Let's get this guy. Now this pain lineage, what it does is when you activate, you're going to select one, either one of this, and then you're going to minus your life points based on its lowest either attack or defense. We can't do a four strings? Nani! Don't we have another four strings? Oh, because we activate new Necro Vulture, so after you activate Necro Vulture, you cannot 
cannot exit some and accept with the rank up magic spell. I see. I see. That's the thing we have to. Never mind. He doesn't have back group, but we can still exceed summon. So next time, activate Nerco Valtteri Effect last because then you cannot exceed summon except by the rank up magic. Activate Falcon. Falcon! Reduce to zero. But get another uh, skip force. Do you want to get a skip force? I skip my force. Okay, now let's go. Find a fortress falcon. Attack. I know Photos Falcon effect activates. I'm going to banish. Another one, huh? Another one, huh? I can attack another time. Oh, sadly, that's about it. So you have to use the X ray of the monster to turn on. You can manage one later exceed monster. This is not once per turn. Has to be exceed monster, huh? I see. I see, I see. It's okay, let's finish them. Got no more shoe, buddy! Dennis McPhil! And so that's how you win with the Raid Raptor. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. If you have any other suggestion what what deck should I make, feel free to tell me. I will make one. Thank you for watching. Just leave a like. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe too. Please subscribe. We're gonna make a Yu-Gi-Oh content. Thank you very much. See ya.